Oh man, this guy looks remarkably familiar. I think I may have just caught this guy's. What's up guys? Nick the Informative Fisherman here on behalf of Lucky Tackle Box. And today we're gonna to be breaking down May's Panfish Box. So hang with me. We're gonna catch some crappies, some bluegills, some red ears. We're out here at Salt Springs Reservoir. This place is an absolute blast for pan fishing. So let's break her down. So let's crack open the box and see what we have inside. I already know, cause I've been out here fishing them this morning, but I figured I'd show you guys. Coupon, five bucks off our online store, Lucky Tackle Box. You're gonna wanna use that, guys. Trust me, if you wanna rock some LTB swag like me. Uh, the Fish Hound the Magazine, always good articles and breakdowns on fishing the lures that actually come in this box, guys, so you need to utilize that information. First thing I'm gonna grab here is the little micro nymphs. This is uh, Drew's Custom Micro Nymphs right there. Super, super tiny nymph. Now, if you're not sure what a fam are familiar what a nymph is, it's, uh, the larvae version of a stonefly, I believe, is what a nymph is. Uh, you're welcome to comment if I'm wrong, but you're going to want to rig this on a little tiny hook or a little tiny jig head or a little tiny hook without a weight on it and a split shot and use it under a bobber. It's super tiny. You can rig this on like a size 10 or 12 hook and a split shot and use it in rivers and bounce it across the stream bottom, catch trout, you can catch little bass, you can catch bluegills, crappie, you name it. Looks like something very natural. You're gonna catch a ton of fish on that. Um, if you're gonna fish it on a little tiny light jig head, I would suggest fishing it on an ultra light action with like two or four pound tests. If uh, you don't pan fish very often, go ahead and fish on four. If you consider yourself a very experienced fisherman, go ahead and fish it on two. You're gonna get more bites the lighter the line you go. From there we have the Glow Pro Micro Dancer. She's a dancer. And I'm guessing this is a glow in the dark, effective underwater light fall off. Oh, it's showing you what colors dissipate faster uh, under the, dis the distance of the water or the actual depth of the water. They have that cool uh, scale on the back of their packaging right there, which shows you where it disappears. I have one tied on because I was just literally smashing the crappie with these baits. They have a 90 degree line tie angle coming off the head. That means straight up, which is really good for vertical fishing um, or ice fishing, you know, straight up and down style fishing. But you can also cast this out and slowly reel it in. The little swim bait tails that come with these have a ton of action. You're gonna catch a ton of fish on that. I'm put that on a medium light or a light spinning rod setup with either four or six pound line um, if I'm fishing that straight up without a float. From there, we have some best copolymer fishing line. This is six pound test. You can use that for pan fishing, trout fishing, whatever you want to do. It's a little bit on the heavier end. Copolymer is like the new nylon based lines. It's like the new monofilament nowadays. So if you hear people refer to mono, more than likely it's copolymer. That's uh, two different line types put together to make a little bit more durable or a little less stretch or a little more stretch. It allows line companies the freedom to, uh, to give you a variables in your line to whether it has better abrasion resistance or it's thinner diameter, gives them more options and it's uh, less expensive for you guys than fluorocarbon. But it's absolutely, absolutely critical for short distance fishing and pan fishing, you're casting 10, 15, 20 feet out in front of you. You need some line with some stretch. So that'll work out great for you guys. The true turn hooks. This is like a little light wire hook right here. That is a size six. That's actually really good for red ears, bigger bluegills, crappie, uh, very versatile size right there. Now it has an offset in that hook. And what that does, what that's designed to do is to help that hook penetrate. I'm not overly familiar with that technology, but I used it today and uh, it definitely buried itself through the skull of a bluegill and it took me a while to get that off. So the hook clearly works. From here we have the Mr. Twister shiny panfish lures right there. It's like a little minnow. Let's check this out. I guess I'll rip the pack. Oh no, I don't need to rip the package open. I got it right here. So check this out. I was using one of these earlier and it has two flaps on the tail, which is really unique. It's like a little Pac-Man mouth on the end of that and it gives really unique action it's kind of like a like this when it falls it kind of does this almost like a wacky rig hooked in the middle uh, but that kind of pinches down the crop you're absolutely loving this thing from there 
I have the, oh man, this wind's blowing. It's gonna blow my stuff off the boat. From there, I have the Southern Pro Minnow Tube. Now remember guys, if this is not the stuff you got in your box, the Panfish box varies. Some things are gonna be the same, but we get uh, a lot of stuff from different companies and I try to get them to put as many different assortment of panfish lures in there for you guys. So if you got a different box than me, your lures are not the same, don't freak out. Sometimes you're gonna get the identical, but there could be one, two, three variations um, just to get you guys as many lures as possible. So if you're getting extra stuff beyond me, those were tossed in. So Lucky Tackle Box is hooking you up. Now this, I actually run a jig head through the top and out the back, and I'll show you that. So take a look at this jig head. Imagine it's tied on to your line. Now, how are you gonna push this through the little hole in the back of this tube and get it in there? There's a simple technique. You go to the back of the head, and don't mind me, I have shaky hands. I was born with a central trimmer, so don't freak out. I go in eh, about an eighth of an inch through the back, okay? And I'm gonna go through there and I'm gonna work it out the hole in the back of the minnow. So now I'm gonna turn it over and you can see the jig heads like that. I'm gonna put some tension and kind of pinch the head and grab the hook, and then I'm gonna stretch it over the top, just like that. So now, your little tube jig's rigged up perfectly for you. Now we have the Big T One-Eyed Wiggle Head. Now this is a jig head, and they're eighth ounce, so they're slightly on the heavier side, which is gonna help uh, on those windier days, or when you're fishing deeper water. Let me actually show you what this thing does. Now you see that little snap swivel, that little snap swivel right there on the front, and this jig head, well you see this big clear plastic piece right here. What this does is it gives your bait very erratic shaking action. I'm not sure if you've ever fished a chatterbait. It's kind of similar to that, but it, what it does is it vibrates the front of your bait. Normally, uh, on a subtle, calm, clear water day, you'll run it like a little tiny swim bait that looks real, and the head of the swim bait sits still, but just the tail kicks. Now, sometimes if the water gets dirty and it gets a little windier out, you can fish like a little heavier jig head and you can put one of these on the front. You can rig it up with that big O style jig head like this. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna cause vibration in the front, vibration in the back. It's gonna bring your whole bait to life. It's gonna displace more water and help those panfish find it a lot easier. The minimal line weight I'm gonna throw on this is four pound. I'll probably be fishing this on six because the more erratic action you have, the more bigger predator fish it's gonna pull in. So you're gonna catch a lot of bass on these at the same time. Last but not least, we have your golden ticket. Every month, Lucky Tackle Box does live on the Lucky Tackle Box YouTube channel. That number that you get issued right there, if you heard Travis Moran, myself, or Tyler Anderson call out your number, you won whatever prize it is. There's prizes over a couple thousand dollars at times. Rods, reels, lures, Lucky Tackle Boxes, kayaks, you name it guys. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click below and make sure to thumbs up this video, and we'll see you next time. Appreciate you watching.